Hey everyone, this is Sam from Rococo, and in this video we're going to cover how to set up live streaming full performance motion capture including body, hands, and face from Rococo Studio directly into Motion Builder. Okay, let's jump into it. So here I am in Motion Builder, but the first thing we'll want to do is install the Rococo Motion Builder plugin. You can find the download link in the description below. The file you'll download is an executable. Once you run it, you'll restart Motion Builder if you have it open, and then click on Devices. And if the plugin was installed correctly, you should see the Rococo Actor and Rococo Prop options under Devices in the Asset Browser. If we drag the Rococo Actor into the scene, we get a new device called Rococo Actor with all these new options. So at this point, let's jump into Rococo Studio and get prepped to live stream our mocap data into Motion Builder. As you can see, I already have my SmartSuit Pro and Smart Gloves on, and now I just need to connect my iPhone 10 or higher for our facial motion capture. You can check out our other videos on our YouTube channel for info on how to set up all this hardware and get it connected. Okay, now that that's done, I'll click on Start Live Stream, and I'll enable the Motion Builder module. You can click this little gear icon to see which port you're using to stream the mocap data from. Okay, now that that is all done, we are streaming the mocap data, so let's jump back into Motion Builder to set up our scene and character. The next step we'll take to get our data into Mobu is click on the Model Binding, and then select Create. If we click the Online button now, you can see that we are receiving data from Rococo Studio. Okay, so we've got our data streaming into Motion Builder, but how do we get this data onto a character? Motion Builder, like Maya, uses characterization to actually retarget the incoming data to a rigged character. What that all means is that we will define all of the bones of this skeleton, and then define the bones of our character, and then Motion Builder will be able to translate our live mocap data onto our character. So let's start by characterizing this skeleton, which is actually really easy to do with the plugin. We'll just select our character's hips from the scene and then click Characterize under Utility, and you can immediately see that something happened over here. If we click Definition, we can see that the plugin has defined all of our skeleton's bones automatically. So now we're ready to bring in our rigged character and retarget our mocap onto that character's skeleton. For this demo, I'm going to be using our character Bruno the Mime. You can download this character in the description below for free to use in all your projects. This character has the standard Apple AR Kit 52 blend shapes on it for facial mocap, which your character will need if you want to use facial motion capture. I will drag the FBX into the scene, hit FBX Merge, and select No Animation, because we just want our character and its skeleton and that's it. So when you use your own custom character, I'll mention that the way to get the best performance from your smart gloves is you want your character's hands to be posed like this, with the thumb laying flat the same as the fingers. Next, we'll need to characterize our mime's skeleton, so Motion Builder knows which bones correspond to our mocap skeleton's bones. I'll select None under Character, and then hit Define under Skeleton. The way I usually like to do this is open up all of my rigged character's bones in our scene, and then I'll click on each one and assign it to the appropriate bone on our bone map here. The nice thing is that with this button turned on, mirror matching, you only have to do one side of the skeleton, and the other side will mirror that definition. I'll time lapse through this process, but once this is done, you can save these bone maps so that you don't have to repeat this process the next time you use this character. Okay, now that we're done, the final thing we'll do is select the drop down and go to Create, Control Rig, and then we'll select Biped and FKIK. So once you've done that, 
Now you can set the source to our smart suit. And now when we click online under our Rococo actor and devices, you can see that we are retargeting our live mocap onto our character. In order to get the face mocap transmitting, we'll select our Rococo actor under devices and then select the mesh in your scene and hit map face. You should see a little pop up if this worked correctly. And there we go. Now we are streaming mocap live from Rococo Studio directly into Motion Builder. The last thing I'll mention is that down here you can access our command API, which actually allows you to control Rococo Studio from within Motion Builder. This means that you don't have to jump between Motion Builder and Rococo Studio in order to do a calibration pose or start recording, and you can just keep everything simple and stay within Motion Builder. We hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below or reach out to us directly. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll have more Motion Builder content coming soon. Thanks.